Welcome to Jokes with Jen. Today's joke, what did the pen say to the pencil? Four. You're looking sharp. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Bonanza Broncos. Happy Monday. This week is our first spirit week of the year. Our theme is back to school and let the school spirit unleash. So, Monday today is grade level color day. So I'm gonna go over the colors really quickly so that we can make sure everyone's in the right color. Pre-K should be in blue. Kinder should be in red. First grade should be in yellow. Second grade should be in pink. Third grade should be in black. Fourth grade should be in orange. Fifth grade should be in white. Sixth grade should be in green. Seventh grade should be in purple. And eighth grade should be in gray. So tomorrow, Tuesday, is dress like a nerd preppy day, dress like a 90s nerd. On Wednesday is cultural heritage day, show off and show off your culture, so wear cultural outfits. Thursday is Harry Potter day. So you dress in the colors of your Hogwarts house. If you've read Harry Potter or watched the movies, whatever house you identify with, you can wear colors for that house. Friday is Extreme Spirit Day. Show us your decked out spirit face. You can do your hair. Make it school appropriate, please. School colors would be great, but we want to show your school spirit. So the whole point of the Spirit Week is to see school spirit from our students throughout the school, okay? So, a few other things to go over for teachers. We have 21st century is, and students. 21st century is beginning this week, so it starts today. Um, it's our after school program. It goes from three o'clock to six o'clock. We encourage all of our students to go be there. It's great to get extra tutoring, extra help on your homework. Um, and then there's enrichment activities, tons of fun clubs. So it's a really cool program. So please come to 21st century. Um, we do sports, all kinds of different stuff. So also, on top of that, the tryouts for sports begin today. So if you're trying out for a sport, please make sure that Mr. you listen to what Mr. Little said about sports. For teachers, you have a tune-up Tuesday on Tuesday about the new line, your new boards in your classrooms. Um, we're going to do it a little bit differently. So kindergarten and first grade will be during first grade prep. Second and third grade will come together during second grade prep. And fourth and fifth grade will come together during fifth grade prep. We have sub coverage for everyone, so look at for Trevor Harder's email about that and it'll be more explained in more depth in the email. On Wednesday, we're gonna have a fire drill, so make sure you're practicing the procedures with your students. I know we were, we've pushed that back from this week, so that's Wednesday at 9.30, we're tentatively having a fire drill. And then Thursday, we have fall sports, the actual practices are beginning. And then we have a few birthdays coming up, we have on the 25th, on Friday, we have Miss Feldman from the kitchen. It's her birthday. Oh, I forgot Mr. Swan's birthday as well is on the 23rd. He does all of our tech, so to say happy birthday to him. And Mr. Almacar from the kitchen as well is on Sunday the 27th. So make sure you tell them happy birthday. Uh, a few upcoming important dates. Um, we have our Jessica Barr data presentation on August 31st, so it's super important that we are all there for that day to go over our data from last year. Other than that, just please make sure that you're having your weekly grade level PLCs, that you're um, checking your emails on a daily basis, working with kids, and have a great week, everyone. Welcome back to Little Sports Corner. After a nice summer break, we're all back in the classes, we're getting, hitting our first week of school, and now it's time for our fall sports. Fall sports are the most, explored, uh, most exciting time because we offer our most variety of sports for all our ages for our students. Starting off, we got T-ball. We got T-ball K through second grade and that will be with Coach Janet Perez. And on the field on Monday, everybody, all our sports, we're doing tryouts Monday. So go out on the field on Monday. If you're going out for T-ball, that would be Janet Perez. Aida Ramirez is our first through third grade first pitch t-ball coach so we have another level for t-ball so we have two levels for t-ball 
And then going into our volleyball, we have three levels for volleyball. We were going co competition for third and fifth grade. We are middle school JV team and a varsity team. Coach Rivera will be the varsity coach for the girls. It's all girls, but boys can try out. JV coach is Jacqueline Sorensen and our elementary coach is Marifer Lupak. So those coaches will be who you want to contact to let them know you want to try out for their team. Flag football, we have our varsity coach, Josh Brown, and it is girls can try out. It is co-ed, but it's called boys uh, flag football. Coach Brown will be that coach. Uh, Javier Rodriguez is our JV coach. We got Jeremy Martin as our elementary competitive team. And we have Miss Herod as our K through, or basically K through two grades for flag football. And then we have cross country, and that'll be me, Coach Little, and also we'll have a few others if we get the numbers. Now, the way with cross country goes, it's not like your regular sports, meaning you don't have games every Saturday. So if you are an Excel runner and you wanna compete for us and you play on another team for our competitive sports, you can compete in cross country. It is a mile and a half run for all ages, third through eighth, boys and girls, co-ed. So come on out Monday through Thursday next week for cross country. And if you don't make any team that you try out for, there's always a place for cross country where you can run. Now it's a park club with 21st century, but then we pick and choose the ones who can run the mile in a decent time. And those are to be the ones that will compete. And again, those meets for cross country on Mondays and they're like every other week. So you can do two sports if you want to do cross country, but contact me, Mr. Little or Mr. Portman, and we will get you out there running every day. And it's good for your heart and it's good for everything you do in life. All right, I am Mr. Little and I am out.